Yeah, hold on. What the fuck? Who you is? Your name is Hello? Let me get to <laughs> Hey, what the fuck? Hey, uh. G5 sitting on the runway. Big ass chopper. Call that bitch Beyonce. This for my dogs locked down all day. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Solo Dope. Hey, man, look. Today we got, uh. Saquon Barkley, before they were famous. I meant to do this when this shit first came out. I seen it when it first came out, but I got sidetracked. So you can do this shit today. Y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all mess with the Saquon Barkley video. I be getting. That's why I got the most comments that ever on any video. I fuck with y'all though. I get into it, man. <clears throat> When I was younger and growing up, I was immature. I was so focused on your God-given abilities and I'll take you where you need to go. And uh, I was immature. I wasn't focused on hard work. I didn't know hard work was what you needed. And that's what I learned. Before Saquon Barkley would be selected second overall by the New York Giants and would clock in 1.9 million followers on Instagram and would go viral all because of his quads. Before Saquon Barkley would sign a four-year contract with the Giants worth a guaranteed $31 million, including a $20 million signing bonus, which was enough to buy his mom and dad a crib. Before Saquon Barkley would sign with Rock Nation Sports and would set three franchise Kyrie. records for rookies with most running touchdowns, most rushing yards, and most total touchdowns. Not bad for a kid who showed symptoms of asthma when he was growing up. Now hailing from the Bronx, Saquon Barkley... I had asthma growing up. <laughs> what symptoms? Jets. And he dreamt about joining the NFL since the age of three. But then Barkley, he became so frustrated about not playing as much as he wanted to during his youth football team time that he told his father that he wanted to quit. That was at the age of 13 or 14. And his dad, well, he had his own interesting story about missing out on making it as a pro boxer. So from there, his dad fell into a life of drugs and crime. Now, he didn't want the same thing to happen to his kid. This is actually a really interesting story because Saquon, he's a true underdog who came from very little. Now, Started from the bottom, now he's here. To ever play the game. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Michael McCrudden back at it with another. That nigga really is cold, video. though. Now, this time it's on your boy Saquon Barkley. Now, you guys requested this video, and we have more football videos coming your way, including one on Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications so you don't miss our uploads. I also got a trivia question for you guys. How many days before the NFL draft did Saquon's baby girl be born? You know what I mean. Down off in the comments down below how many days it's it, it's it's within a week. All right, now let's get into this huh? video. Did I ruin the intro? We're okay, right? By now you guys know me. We're good. Thanks. Wait, with the Michael Jackson, Dan Jackson, dude, him, uh, damn, is that Eminem, Eminem. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that many celebrities. Barkley was born on February 9th, nineteen ninety seven, in the Bronx, New York. February 9th? Is that Aquarius, Kiva? Kendall? Ali Bay Barkley and Tanya Johnson. Now he has at least four siblings, Shaquana, Aaliyah, Richard, and Ollie. Now his dad, he wanted to name his boy Tupac Machiavelli. That's after the late rapper. But his mother, well, she's the only reason that didn't happen. Now his dad, Ali Bay, he was a boxer, and so was his uncle, Iran Barkley. And this man, he was a three-time world champ who twice beat Thomas Hearns for the title belt. You can actually check out this clip we found. His uncle's the man in the black shorts. Also the one kicking ass. Damn. 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 Come here, nigga. Yeah? Hey, hey, MMA reaction coming soon again? Part two? He grew up mixed up with street life. Now his boxing career, it would take him all over the country. But he was in constant trouble as a teenager. This culminated with a gun charge and he would get probation before being sent to prison at the age of 19. Now this temporarily put his boxing career on hold, but then he hurt his shoulder, which nearly crushed all his dreams. Oh, yeah, it's a wrap after that. two years old, he tried to pick up where he left off, but a shot at the big time, it had already passed him by. Now these regrets he'd keep with him, and he'd use these lessons to teach his boy when he had his own reasons to quit football. We're not there yet. Now the dad and son pair, they were close. As young as three years old, Saquon recalls watching the New York Jets with his father. That was their team. His dad even has a tattoo supporting the Jets on his arm. But he played for the Giants. That's crazy. Was watching running back Curtis Martin, and he would point at the screen and say, when I grow up, I'm going to be number 28. Mom Tanya, she had family in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, where they would go and visit. And the kids, they loved the freedom of playing in the countryside. And when dad got caught up in drugs again, that's around 2001. Well, Tanya, she decided she was going to move her kids there with or without their father. 
and his mom actually told a local newspaper, For my kids, it was so they could run around and enjoy the air, enjoy the freedom, and not have to worry about sitting in a park and seeing a shootout. That's how it is, hey, that's how it is in Chicago, bro, literally. I remember me and my, it's, I got a story time with this, bro. I, I got a gun put on me just for going outside trying to have fun as a little kid. Come on, bro. Like, damn. So said it was good for Saquon's asthma concerns. Yeah. I wonder if the scouts ever found out about that. Now, Dad, he eventually got himself into a rehab program, and he got his shit together. Now, the family, they made the move to Allentown, Pennsylvania, and then to nearby Coplet. But money, it was certainly tight. Now, his mom, she worked in retail, and she held down a second job at a tax office during return seasons. Dad first found work at a restaurant as a dishwasher, then as a baker, and then he became a cook. A job he was still holding down in 2016. He passed his GED test at the age of 37. Now he started a new life in small town Pennsylvania. Well, it provided the father with a new outlet to help mentor his young son, who was showing great potential as a football player. Now they didn't have a car for a long time, so the family, they would walk their son to practice. By eight, Saquon, he had become the star player on the Hunkandawaka youth football team. I hope I said that correctly. Before the games, they would play at the field in Whitehall. Now, by 13 or 14 years old, Saquon, he started losing his love for the game. He wasn't playing as much as he should, and he started looking at other options for his future. He even started to consider becoming a boxer like his old man. Now, this is when his dad stepped in and told him about his own regrets, his own missteps, and he pushed his boy to take full advantage of the opportunities in front of him, to work his hardest and to never give up. Now, Saquon's motto has since become... When you quit one thing in life, you'll be a quitter the rest of your life. You can do anything you put your mind to. Saquon rededicated you anything you put your mind to. So to God. And he got faster. And soon after this heart to heart with his dad, well, he Ooh, was damn, come here. Hold on. Huh. Hey. Hey, hey we're going. Hey. 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 But his focus, it was always on football. Now he rushed for 3,646 yards with 63 touchdowns from his sophomore to senior year. Oh, boy. 1,856 yards and 31 touchdowns. That's as a senior. He also became a four-star. 31 touchdowns as a senior? He climbed his way up from being ranked number 64 to 24, and then for number one as a running back. He was also named Mr. Pennsylvania in 2014. He initially committed to go to Rutgers, and his family, they were thrilled knowing that he'd secured a scholarship. But then a bigger and better one, it came in from Penn State. Um, the reason why I chose Penn State is because it fits me the best overall for the next four to five years of my life. He went on to have a spectacular career at Penn State. After rushing for one yard on the first game, he rushed for 115 yards with a touchdown in his second game. Now he followed up that performance by rushing for 195 yards and two touchdowns on 21 carries in his third game. Now during his first year, well, Barkley, he had 182 carries for 1,076 yards, which became a Penn State record for rookie, and he even had seven touchdowns all within his 2015 season. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I remember just jumping and he did it, and a came and Saquon continued to blow away his coaching staff and recruiters and his performance into his sophomore and junior years. Now in his sophomore year, he beat his own record for rushing yards, clocking in 1,496. He was named Big Ten Offensive Player of the Swole, Year. Look how small he is. He was a Big Ten again in his junior year, and they won the Fiesta Bowl, which led to his declaration of intent to enter the NFL Draft. Now back home, Saquon, he had something else to celebrate. Him and his girlfriend, Anna Cogden, well, they had become pregnant, and they were expecting a little girl. He found himself. In an Instagram post about Anna, he captured it. She, she, yeah. She's the one to slow me down, hold me down, I roll with it now. Happy birthday, babe. Great looking girl. Also a smart one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lock that man down. They're a great looking couple. Now just two days after the NFL draft, the two, they welcomed their daughter, Jada Claire. So, you know, that's the answer to the question I asked you off the top. The answer is two who got it right. If you got two it right, I put a draft. follow over on Instagram. Soon after, the couple would have more to celebrate because his dream of making it to the NFL, it came true when the Giants selected him with the second overall pick in the 2018 draft. But now with the second overall pick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Practically every scout they predicted Saquon would go top ten. 
there was even a chance for him to go to the New York Jets. I'm sure Dad was open for that. Now, he was the highest drafted running back that's ever been picked, well, since Reggie Bush back in 2006. Damn. Yeah, congratulations, my friend. Thank you. I just saw last night. He signed a four-year deal. He ain't sleep. He ain't sleep. You know what he did. Oh, no, he couldn't go through that. He's had a baby. My fault. My fault. <laughs> Hey, go do that little bit. What the fuck was that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, man. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. Thanks for coming through. You messed with me, so I messed with you. Uh, follow me on all social media. I'm not on social media right now. Uh, but yeah, follow me on there. I'm only on there when I post my videos. Cello Dope on Instagram, Cello Dope on Facebook, Cello underscore Dope on Twitter, Cello underscore Dope on Snapchat. Uh, yeah, we're going crazy, y'all. Our computer been trying to hold me, bro. Bro, I tried to, bro, I put out this video reacting to the Future All Around Goat. I'm checking out my boy, Future All Around Goat. Uh, I put out a video for that coming out, bro. They don't let me export that on fucking Final Cut, bro. I don't, bro. What, bro? That shit crazy. <laughs> I'm out of here, what the f- Feels till my feels, yeah, they rotting my brain Hennessy, wash all my thoughts down the drain That's just a sad side, make a bitch kiss my rollie Haters die when you win, so I'm gonna kill I'm moving my slow, I should call it a day and go I'm a pop, I'm a pill for the road Shorty say, please don't leave me alone It's a front man, I'm